Hi guys, I'm back here at Porto Ventura World in Spain to check out their newest attraction, Uncharted. This is an indoor Intamin roller coaster designed for families, multiple launches. I've heard there's some great theming in the queue line, so let's go and give it a look. <laughs> So this is the weird sort of Tom Holland. There's a rather ominous statue staring at me. Maybe I've been cursed. I don't know if you can see them, but there's all kinds of spikes and skeletons hanging from the ceiling. It's very dark in here though. And this is the Enchanted Merch selection. Actually, some quite nice designs. So Uncharted, I thought, was decent. The coaster hardware itself, really solid. Some good launches in there, some good elements. It's fully multi-dimensional, so you do spin, you go backwards, sideways, all kinds of crazy stuff. It is let down slightly by the theming in the show building. And I think with that, it needed an all or nothing approach. So I quite enjoy Coaster in the Dark, and I think the dark elements worked really well. The problem is, is when you have a bit of theming, you expect more of it. I almost feel as though the theming should have been left to the queue line and then it should have been just a real dark coaster with maybe some fire effects and stuff like that. In terms of effects, in many ways this does feel like you've ordered the mummy from Universal Studios on Wish or Timu. Because the ride system's great, but it does feel like they've been let down by the effects a little. Whereas Mummy has a full ceiling of fire, this has a screen of fire. And the screens do let it down, because it was very cartoony graphics, not particularly great definition. Yeah, I think those aspects really should have been improved upon. So in terms of the ride system, I think some fantastic elements in there. One of my favorites came right after the first screen section, actually, where you level off and sit sideways on the track to watch the, the short video. You then go sideways down the drop, level out to face forward as you hit the bottom, and then immediately go into a launch, which sends you up a spike. You then stop and roll back down again. Really, really mad element there, and uh, probably my favorite part of the ride. I love an indoor coaster, and I think there's some good forceful bits. It, certainly there was a lot of reaction from the people on the train that I was on, lots of screams and whoops and whatnot. So overall, I think Uncharted is a good addition to Porto Ventura World. It, uh, it offers something completely different to the rest of the resort. Uh, it offers a much more family-focused roller coaster when many of the ones here are kind of more geared towards thrill seekers. It demonstrates something else that Intamin can do really well with these multi-dimension kind of four across coasters. Yeah, good addition, not a perfect addition, but certainly a welcome one. So if you've been here to Port Ventura to check out Uncharted, then let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna head off to Ferrari Land now because it's time for Red Force in the Dark. So thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Please watch whatever's up on the screen now. I'm sure it's great. Bye.